few minutes of your time and begin to talk to you from my heart. I want to talk to you about a formula for getting back to great moving on after your divorce. Think about that, a formula for getting back to great moving on after your divorce. Divorce is not the end of the world. You may feel like you're at the end of your world, maybe for financial reason, uh, emotional, but I, if you'll stay tuned, I'm gonna give you steps. It's just like going up your staircase. If you'll take one step at a time, these words that I'm about to unfold here will radically transform your life. It only works if you work it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach out. I'm going to be like a life coach to you this, this afternoon here. And if you'll apply these principles, it's going to work because I applied them in my life. And they worked in my life. God says, I am no respect of a person. But first step number one, you want to have, if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, say, Jesus, I surrender. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. That's simple. And he'll begin to take on your pain. He'll begin to show you a better way than you're going right now. He'll begin to take that load off of you. He's a load bearer. That's what he comes to do. He comes to help us. He'll take those broken pieces, those, those pieces that have been shattered, like Humpty Dumpty fell and had a great fall. He'll begin to show you how to mend them back together. You're going to have to respond. when he. You're going to have to do what he says to do. That's step number one. Step number two. Focus, don't focus on what you lost. Focus on where you're at and what you have now. You have your life. You have, may have your kids. You may have your house. You have your car. Focus on those things. I know it's cloudy. I was married for 16 years. I was devastated. When I, my divorce, when I was going through my divorce and after I was divorced, it changed my life. I was full of pain, full of hurt. I don't wish it on anyone, but I'm going to help you pick up the pieces after your divorce has been final. Step number one, let Jesus come in. Step number two, focus on what you have right now. Step number three, don't be afraid to ask for help. Ask for help. You can't bear this thing all alone. You can't do it all alone. You need a support team. You need people around you that can encourage you to do the right things because it's not an easy road. I wish there was a magic wand. I would hold it over you and all your pains would just evaporate. No, it just doesn't happen. You're going to have to walk this thing out. You're going to have to be, be patient and willing to go through the process. You'll get through. It took me quite a while. But I made it. Because more than a conqueror lived it on the inside of me. I responded to him. Step number three. Step number three is don't be afraid to ask for help. Get counseling. Get into counseling. Let somebody counsel you. It's going to make you feel better. Day by day. These are vital keys that will radically change your life. Number four. You need to dig deep within. Take a, do a soul search within. Because generally the people that I'm talking to and myself, my own experience... I didn't know who I was anymore. I lost myself. But you got Jesus on the inside of you. He's going to begin to mend your life. He's going to begin to radically. But you got to respond. You got to respond to him. Soul search. 
Number, number five is the big one. As if you can't do it in your own strength, Jesus can help you. I remember I was sitting in my office. I was hurting. I was just full of pain. Jesus said, forgive her. Like, oh my. I did. I forgave her. It was like weight began to lift. He just, it was like I say, it's like going up a staircase. One step at a time, I took one step. I responded to what Jesus said, and it began to lift. Another load began to lift. You're going to have to forgive. Jesus can help you. Say, Jesus, help me to forgive that person. He will. He'll give you the strength. Step number six, you need to surround yourself with inspirational that will feed your mind, your soul, your spirit. I remember this song that Yolanda Adams used to always sing. That we don't understand, but he's going to bring us through it all. I don't know the title of the song, but it was those words. Sometimes we don't understand, but he's going to bring us through it all. I just repeated that song over and over and over. I was pulling strength from that. It was encouraging me. So it's vital to get around encouraging, listen to the radio, talk to your friends. So that's just another step. And, and another step that you can take to overcome after you've been divorced. Step number seven. It's important for you to stay healthy. You know what being healthy will do? It'll help fight off the spirit of depression. Yes. You will have moments that is, I had lots of moments I was depressed, sad. It's like a divorce is like cutting you in half. But I made it. I, I, you know what I did? Here's my testimony. I started responding to the desires within me. God asked me, this was after my divorce, to be a little more fashionable. I wasn't into all that. And I began to respond my life began to turn around in a 360-degree turn. And I started having this desire to look my best. I started feeling better. See, I responded to what, what was inside of me as the Spirit of God put that in me. I just responded to it. And then I began to shave my hair off. I began to go and get manicures and pedicures. I started feeling good. I started feeling, this is after the divorce. I started feeling good. My perspective began to change. And that radically changed my life after my divorce. And I started. I began to love who I was. I began to like, it started, I liked who I was. After I shaved my hair, began to go to the men's store and buy Suit after suit after suit. Every week I was buying a suit. Nice clothing. It was, it was a radical transformation. And then I started taking classes on uh, cooking. And I started taking dance classes. I never done this in my life. I just responded what was inside of me. And that started a whole radical transformation then. Over time, I was woke up, I was totally free from the aching, the pain of that divorce. It was a process, but I made it. You're more than a conqueror. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. Jesus is pulling on you. When you run out of strength, you call on Jesus. Jesus. Be my strength. He's going to help you.
Days I didn't want to get out of bed. I was in so much pain. But Jesus was my coach. I'm coaching you here this afternoon. Divorce is not the end of the world. It's a new beginning. You're going to make it. Your divorce is final. You're going to pick up the pieces. And you're going to start a brand new life. I started traveling. I started dressing. I started smelling good. I started traveling. Going places where I wanted to go. It didn't matter what it cost. I started doing it. I responded. I've got zest for life. I've got passion for life. I've got passion to get in front of this camera and begin to share my testimony. So I'm going to pray for you. And God's going to help you now that you've, your divorce is final. Let it be a new beginning. But if you apply these principles, they'll work for you. You got to work them. If you want to be lazy and be depressed, that's going to be your choice. You've got words of life right here in front of you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I loose the power of God. I loose the healing power of God to their mind. Fill them with peace and joy. And give them the strength that they need in the name of Jesus. In your life. I want all of the worship leaders and I want everyone here to sing it with them and declare for every person.